This is part two of modularizing tutorial. Today we're gonna create an, another project that we will convert to a jar project. And this project will contain common and reusable flows and we will see how we can import them into existing Mule applications. Let's start by going into new and we will create a regular Mule project. Give it name, we'll call it my Mule Commons. I'll use Maven, put your company name, everything else looks good. Done. Okay. This is a Maven based application. We have our POM XML here. We even got some blank XML already in the app. Good to go. So what we'll do is we will take this custom sample XML with a sample flow in it and we will remove it from this project and add it into this mule commons. So in my case I'll simply drag it into the app. Done. Alright, so we see sample XML with customer sample flow is in the Commons project and it's not in our other application. So what's the trick? Here you will add all your flows into the mule Commons, all your reusable flows, um, especially exception strategies, all kinds of reconnection strategies, anything you want basically. After you're done, you can go into POM XML and change your packaging to a jar. And we will put a comment here, change back to new packaging for testing within Studio. So if you decide to go back and test the project in Mule, run the flows and test them, just convert back to Mule packaging and you'll be good to go. But we want it to be a jar. I save it. Now obviously the build kicks in. Build success. Alright, so, but the trick is to put this into our Maven repository. And if you followed my tutorials, you should have Maven build as one of the run as options. Go into run as, Maven build, if you don't have this, install Maven plugin. Just go into help, install new software, and follow options. Go into all sites and install Maven plugin. So the first time you run Maven build, it will do the build, but it will not install it into your Maven repository. What you need to do is, after you run the first time, Go into run as, run configurations, and find your Maven run configuration, which is here. And I will modify it here saying that we will do Maven install. By default, as you see, the goal is to clean, which does nothing, it just cleans the target directory. We want to include install, and just in case we'll skip tests. Apply, run. So now we are running it, what will happen is, it will build it and actually install it onto our local repository. I'm getting build failures because I simply don't have all the repositories, Maven repositories listed. As you see, I just have central and regular MuleSoft. There is no enterprise, but I do need enterprise repositories. So let me copy them over from the other project. Obviously, this can be simplified by changing your settings XML in your Maven configuration. But I'm gonna go the simple way, I'll just copy paste. We should be good now, so let me build again. Run as Maven build. So now when I invoke this Maven build, it will use Maven clean install. Okay, and as you see, Maven install plugin install 
and it's now in my M2 repository as you can see below. Perfect. So this information is essential for me to be able to add this jar to my Maven projects. So this information. And you can take this information from your projects form. There's group ID, artifact ID, and version. So we're going to copy it. We're going to go into Secure Properties app, our mule app. It can be any other app. And we will add that jar as one of the dependencies. Very simple. We'll add it at the very top. Custom common flows. We add a dependency and we copy everything else from our pom XML. Let me align it. Okay, all good. Save. And now what happens is it becomes part of your application. And the way we can see it once it finishes the build, when we go into referenced libraries here of your project, we should be able to see the jar as one of the uh, referenced libraries. Build is done. And we find it here, my mule commons, customer sample XML. And here's our flow. That's the flow that we are planning to actually reuse. And we're going to reference it in our secure properties app. How do we do that? We go into one of our XML, uh, XML configuration files. Usually we have some config XML. I usually do. That's where I store all the connector definitions and Spring Bean declarations, among other things, which apply to configuration. So I go into XML, and I already have some sample imports specified here. Nice. So I'm going to change this, my Spring, to be customer sample XML. Customer sample XML. I save it. Perfect. Now, if I try to reference it now in sample, and we'll go into message flow, we just, just want to make sure that we don't have any flows. Sample 2 doesn't have anything. Let's actually remove it. Config has our configuration, nothing else. Just reference to customer sample on the class path, which will take it from jar. Secure properties doesn't have anything but a logger. And what we're going to add here is flow reference. And this flow reference should be that customer flow. But it doesn't appear here. How do we fix it? Save. So the way to fix it is to first, just in case, go into Mule and Update Project Dependencies. That just does a simple rebuild of everything. So now it definitely updated itself with a jar. Everything is latest. But usually that doesn't help, doesn't do the trick. When we go into flow again, oh, we actually see it now. Nice. So we reference it here. We save. And it actually went away. Sometimes the problem doesn't go away. Even though you can select it, it's still showing as a problem. And in order to fix that, there's a simple workaround. Just close your project. Yes, I know, as dumb as that. Close the project, reopen the project, and then all those problems should go away. So now you have a new application reusing your common project, which is a jar now. You can add as many utilities as you want, as many XML files you want with anything inside of them as you wish. Now, once you add something else, don't forget to run as Maven build. Make sure you build it either from command line and install it into your repository so it becomes available to the projects in your Maven repository. And make sure, of course, once you made changes to JAR and you built and installed the JAR, right-click on your app and do Mule update project dependencies. Otherwise, you will have the old version of the jar. It will not be updated. So that's it. Hope you uh, will make use of it. I do all the time.